recording right here. Here's my notes for Nick too. Dude, that was impressive. <laughs> it was good. That's a lot of notes. It was, it's it was not good. really your notes, nah. is it? Oh, I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. Are we live? Yeah, we're live. We're oh, live fuck. In, we're in living color, like well, cult of personality. Well, I don't know what that is. Uh, welcome to the break room. Yeah, we're in the break room with BS. Yes. Here we are. We know, you know what we're doing here? Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna talk about some a uh, road. Yeah, the we're road. talking about the road to WrestleMania. The road. The road to WrestleMania. The Roman yeah. Re- Roman Mania. Yeah, Roman the road Mania. to hell with our devil, right? Roman Reigns. Yeah, He's the devil. He's like Satan, dude. He is like Satan. He's like fucking Satan. Did you hear is the? It, am I good? Is that is that good? I yeah, can't it's tell. good enough. Okay. Did you hear, did you hear the wrestling news? <laughs> uh, Roman Reigns is the champion. He's still the champ, right? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably going to stay for a while, huh? You think he's going to lose it to Bro- to Bro- 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 Streaman? What's the record? What's the guy's name? Broman Streaman? Braun Strowman. Does Braun St- or does uh, Brock Lesnar have the record for longest hold on the Universal one? The Universal, yeah, because he's one of like three champions. Okay, yeah, I figure there weren't, weren't that many. Um, I I I have a feeling they're going to let Roman hold it until he has it. That way Roman can always keep the record. And then someone else in the near future is going to also have it for a very long time. Become like a day short of beating Roman. I feel like it's going to happen. You're really, you're really booking years ahead, aren't you? I mean, I'm doing more than the WWE's ever done. They book a week in advance. One week. Top, sometimes a day. They, they knee, knee-jerk reactions. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they book a day in advance. And then they just sit there and sniff pumpkin pie candles all day long. Well, that's not true, didn't it? The one WrestleMania... Wasn't he? It wasn't. Uh, wasn't uh, Vince like Vince was like, "Hey, I want Brock and Roman to be at the next WrestleMania," and that that was booked in advance. It was a year ahead. It was a year ahead. But what's funny about that is that the day that day of WrestleMania, Roman was supposed to win, and they changed it. <laughs> they booked the match a year in advance and changed the finish. The day the of. The day of. Oh, WWE sucks. So even when they book in advance, they can't. Are you okay? Yeah, I gotta get stuff out of my pocket. There's too much going on. Is it your stump, your tummy? No, there's just what? What? Stuff in my pocket. Yeah, I heard like noises. I thought your tummy was making noises. <laughs> my tummy's rumbling. Tum, like, that like Winnie the fucking poo. Winnie the fucking poo. Winnie the. I'm gonna borrow one of these. Like Winnie the fucking poo. It's supposed to be good for you. Oh. One of these gums. Um. So where do we start? What do we do? How do we do this? Hello, welcome everyone to Break Room BS. We're here to talk about New Japan World. New. New we're talking about NJP Dub, dude. We are a pod. We are a uh, award-winning podcast. We will, we won awards with the same awards as someone that we'll mention soon, and and we're the number one wrestling New Japan World podcast on Spotify. I don't think we're the number one, but we're the first one that shows that up. Makes if you us type number in one. Then you just said first N- one. NJPW. You just said first one. I think we're just the most relevant. So, p- doesn't that make us number one? In terms of a search bar, not in terms of, like, the industry. <laughs> what number are we when you do the search? I'm just curious if you want to fill me in. What number? Okay, I'm going to go on Spotify. What number are we when you search on Spotify? Let's, let's look together. Let's look together. This is romantic. We should look together with our clothes on next time. This is weird. Well, I mean... I didn't, like, tell you to take your clothes off. They just happen to already be off. I'm currently inside Gable. Make that mean 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 it what you will it. Look at that. As soon as you search it, the number one podcast that shows up. What's number two? And, and Wilfred watches. That's <laughs> <laughs> so gay. Can't say gay. Oh, that's kind of so, funny though. It's so homosexual. Is he gonna sue us? I mean, he doesn't end that song. <laughs> What's the next one? Two Face Wrestling Talk. Uh, Wilfred watches. Uh, uh, Fuck you, let's have a feud. Let's listen to this one. Dude, dude, wrestling, I, I'm noticing wrestling yeah. feuds in other places, alright? What do you mean? I got in an argument with Gideon, because I told him, uh, two... <laughs> what the fuck was I saying? The, no, the, um... I got in a fight with Gideon, because I, I honestly believe... Do you hear about all this, like, shit going on with, like, MGK, like... Rapping against them and M and shit, like they're they're exchanging rap yeah, disses. Yeah, yeah. They're dude, having they're having a, they're they're having ha- a rap battle. I, I, no, not a rap. Dude, battle. I told Gideon they're they're, having, they got beef. Yeah, they got beef. I, I told Gideon I'm like they're literally just doing this to promote one another. I don't think they have actual beef with one another. 
Makes sense to me. Gideon, Gideon's like, do you really think that? I'm like, yes. Well, why is that so unheard of? Uh, it's a way to get both of them attention. It's they, smart. They both get publicity with each other's. Uh, yeah, they both get publicly. They both get it. Yeah, they both get pubically. <laughs> they both get puberty. <laughs> I wish I could hit puberty, dude. dude. I'm so tired of not having any hair on my balls. I'm so tired in general. Dude, whenever I have my balls out with nothing covering them, I'm so cold because I don't have any hairs. Yeah. That's what they're there for. They're there to keep your balls warm in the like the caveman days, you know? The caveman days. Da 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 da. I'm just gonna let you Everybody go. Everybody wants to be a cat. Okay. Because the cat's the only cat that knows where it's at. I'm waiting for more. I don't know their next line. So stupid. <laughs> fucked up, man. So fucking stupid. All right, let's talk about the destruction. We're going to cover all three days of the Road to Destruction Tour, which is leading into the Destruction Tour. So uh, the first day is uh, the uh, September 7th show in Cor- Corican Hall. Corrigan. Well, it's, it's spelled Coraquen. Did you see that? Was there a ghost? Was it a flicker of a ghost? Was there? Is it spiritual? Dude, there is like straight up a silhouette in the door frame. Really? Maybe I'm tired. Whatever. Let's go on. Silhouette. It was like a, a thin, it, uh, too thin to maybe if it was a human standing sideways. Dude, they fucked up. Why? They were like, we're going to recreate the perfect world for Riker. He won't know that it's fake. But you know what they did? They made his wife in the future men. And he was like, men? Oh, I don't know who that is. This is the future. I don't remember anything. But you know what happened? It turned out that she was Minuet, which was just a fucking hologram from when he was younger. And they thought it was a real person. He was like, this is bullshit. This ain't fucking real. You're trying to trick me. He ain't fall for that shit. Can't trick Riker with like that stuff. Picard would have got it. All right, the Picard maneuver. You know what the Picard maneuver is? Yeah, it's probably where, <laughs> where you give it. You rub, give one hip thrust. No, no, it's two hip he, thrust, and then in the third one. No, no, it's where he rubs butter on his bald head and shows a phaser <laughs> up your dick hole. It's called the Picard maneuver. I don't know how it fits. Though. Those phasers are big, dude. Uh, I don't want anything in there. The Picard maneuver is when he sits up and he does this. He does it all the time. It's called the Picard maneuver because the uniforms they wear it right up. So he's always just like pulling it down. That's the, called the Picard maneuver. Is that on on accident or on purpose? Uh, I mean, it wasn't planned. He just kept doing it because like it looks stupid. And he would just do it in the scene. And then they they kept he just kept, kept doing, doing it. it. He just kept, they kept leaving it in. So we're covering <laughs> what, in relation well, to believe Star it or Trek. not, this is a show about wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Picard wrestling with his. Okay, so Road to Destruction, <laughs> so night one, September seventh. So the first match we have on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over every. We're gonna cover every match and the result, but we might not really have much to say about some of them. So we might just give just the finish and the result. So um, so keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm also sick as fuck. So if I keep like coughing and sniffing into the mic, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try to turn my head as often as he possible. He just like smelling things a lot. Yeah. yeah, I told him we shouldn't record tonight, but he wouldn't listen to me. No, I, I'm, uh, I, I'm resilient, and uh, the sh- the show comes first. You're like a big dick. The show comes first. All right, so the first match we have young, some young lions versus Chase Owens and Yujiro Takahashi. So we got Yujiro here, not not Hiromu. <laughs> Yujiro. Yujiro. Yeah, I fucked up early. Um, so what I thought was, did you, did you see the part where Yujiro threw the young lion onto some like hot Asian's lap in the front row? You remember this? Yeah. <laughs> and then he just fell on the floor, and he's all like, he's like grabbing her, and he's like, are you okay? He's like touching her face and stuff. He's touching uh, my face just like her. Yeah, he's a pimp. <laughs> so they can't see that, can they? Yeah. And then they started like making out. Oh. Oh, uh, I didn't do that part. Oh, he started choking me, though, <laughs> so I guess that's, that's fine. That's how I make out. I just choke him. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't get yeah, away. Lenny from My Cement over here. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Chase Owens nails a package pile driver in the Bullet Club Elite win by pinfall. Let's see first match. Next match we got David Finley. You have anything to say about any of this stuff? You have any notes? I'll chime in. Don't okay. worry. It was a, a young Lions match. All How right. much am I going to have to say about yeah, that? Chase Owens was in. All right, next we have David Finley, Juice Robinson, Mike Elgin, and th- I've never seen this dude before, a Yoto Yoshida. Yeah, and it was was he a young line? I don't, I don't remember. know, but yeah, he was on both. He was on the first two shows. Um, versus Tomatonga, Tonga Lao, Bad Luck Fale, and Ishimori. 
The first note I have is I wish Juice would fucking die. That I, I stand by that. Is Yoshida the one who's like has the tribal type thing going on, and he has like a no? That's Tao Himura. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, Yoshida is the dude I've never seen, but he just wears black trunks and like he must. He, I think that's a young lion then. Well, I think he's a young lion that maybe is done with that because like he was in a singles match I think on the second night. You're allowed to be in singles matches if you're a young lion, yeah, but right? Normally they're in the opener. Like he was in like it's like the first two matches. It's fine. No, I, it's all I, the same. I, I think I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy. Was, where was he on the second night? Let's look here. Uh, he was in the second match versus Chase Owens in the next night. It's possible the se- the first two matches are are little young lion gimmick matches. Yeah, but he's, there's only one young lion out of eight people. That's not weird. You know. It helps get him over, and he maybe he's like in the upper class. Yeah, we'll he's an see. upper class. He's also dressed a little differently than the normal young lions. They actually let him do stuff with his hair. And he actually has knee pads and stuff. He looks more. He looks like he's the he's the senior of the young lions. Maybe he's fine. Yeah, he he's he's a, he's a bit of an upperclassman. He's fine in his 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 stride. I don't understand why you're trying to make a big deal out of this. You're being a jerk. No. no. <laughs> oh no. No, I don't think so. Oh. I don't think so. Uh, I still wish Juice would die. You agree, right? Juice needs to die. I, I don't think he Juice. needs to die. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so Tonga Lo hits Ape Shit, which made me laugh. That's the name of his finishing move. It's called Ape Shit. Which one's Ape Shit? Uh, that's a movie. To- oh, it's... um. I think that's whenever he does the... Uh, he puts him over... He holds him kind of like he's going to slam them, and he just sits down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. you. I got you. Yeah, so I think it's funny it's named Ape Shit. Yeah. And the Bullet Club OGs won by Pinfall. So, yeah. So, and then the next thing I have is, holy fucking shit, did you realize the trophy we got for greatest podcast ever is the same one Finley has? Yeah, what's it? I love that. What's the deal with that? Well, he, he his trophy is the G1 C Block winner, I think is what that Oh, is. is that why we got those? Yeah, because It makes the, sense now. I thought it was just that we got two thumbs up. Yeah. I guess both. It could be a double meaning. All right, so the next match we have is Toa Hanari, the guy you were just talking about, versus Trent Beretta. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of Beretta lately. Yeah, he's back. Dude. I didn't know his first name was Trent until I watched this, though. Really? I don't know why. I just kind of well, I've missed that so far. He's just been called usually Beretta wherever I read about him and stuff, so that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I don't have anything about this match. Beretta hit the Dude Buster, and he, he won by pinfall. Yeah, I remember he had a uh, had the pinfall here. Uh, I, I'm a fan of his attire. He seems to have like different homages going on in his attire to like just pop culture like the the zombies zombies were real big a few years ago i don't remember that and he has bill murray i believe on his knee pad is he really i think it is that's pretty cool i think it's i, I think that. it's bill murray you sure it's not sign guy dudley maybe it's uh george washington sign guy dudley <laughs> it's gonna be george washington too they're all on the same level quite frankly uh, and dude and i think his wristband has abraham lincoln on it you're an asshole i'm not kidding there's not Abraham. He has a slave on his wristband, I think. What's uh, what's this guy's name? Beretta. It's Trent Beretta. It's like Trent Reznor, but Beretta, you know? Trent? Okay. Trent Reznor Beretta. Uh, Isn't it, a Beretta like a hat? That's a beret. Here we go. I mean, you can continue. Are those I diapers can or marshmallows? Diapers. Oh. Not what? marshmallows. You can continue here, sir. What are you talking about? I want some information. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, here we okay. go. Trent, Trent Beretta was born in uh, in 1998. Uh, he is currently 20 years old, and he graduated from the New Japan Dojo. Well, it's definitely Abe Lincoln, right? Abe Lincoln with sunglasses, it looks like. Those are I think zombies. his face is just squashed. Yeah, but like, okay. And then that is, is that Bill Murray? Let me see it. All I see is a phone. It's all, need, it's all blurry. I, I can't tell. It looks like a. It looks like Thundercat. <laughs> is Thundercat a character? That is useful. Is Thundercat a character or no? Dude, we're spending way too much time on this. Oh well. No, we're not. He looks like Cheetah. You if should I, just pull up a Trent Reznor action figure and look at that. That'll probably give you all the information you need. He was in WWE. Trent Beretta. Oh, this guy, dude! You He's know what's right you know in WB? Tonga Loa. <laughs> I didn't know that. I did not. I know. Explain. He in, Go. Uh, he was in WWE from the years 1994 to 2001, and he was managed by the Usos. 
and his tag team partner was Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and he won the tag titles against the Midnight Express in 2010. Yeah, it's confirmed. Bill Murray knee pad. I, I want someone to hear everything I just said, and they'll just laugh their ass off. Yeah, he probably said gibberish. Oh, dude, you? it was great. I, you, I, you know me so well. I, I said things from like 14 different eras in wrestling and just combined them all. It made no <laughs> sense. Okay, so next next up we have Tai Chi and Taka Michinoku versus uh, Hiroki Goto and Gato. And the first thing I have is I don't I was I don't understand why Miho isn't sitting on my face like right now. <laughs> what the fuck? Distance. Distance is that. the only issue. Yeah, that, that that's clear. That is all. And yeah, I can promise you that's all. Yeah, and uh, so it looks like with, with this tour, and we'll see with the uh, uh, as Here we the, go as the road goes on. They're setting up the Goto versus uh, Tai Chi match. Yeah, and that's uh, I'm guessing that's in destruction. I'm pr- I'm sure there's a promo I missed for it or a package. Yeah, like at the, the beginning of both shows, they were showing a bunch of stuff with all these all these things. Because they they kept saying like the dates like nine seventeen, uh-huh. so I was like, okay, well this has got to be for the stuff I should pay attention yeah. to. I don't know about and that. I, and I was like, time to text because they're yelling Japanese at me. <laughs> they yelled. He yelled at the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Goto hit a GTR to on Taka and Chaos won by pinfall. Next up, we have Evil Sonata Bushi and Naito versus Suzuki El Desperado, uh, Kon- Konamaru. And Ichika. Um, I got nothing on this one. Evil no. Sonata hit the Magic Killer and Los Ingobleritos won by pinfall. <laughs> Go- Go- Gobbleritos. Los Ingobleritos. What's that? Mad Max has those, right? They do. Mad Max is great. Those are sh- oh, dude, those are coming up soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, November who, who, to December. Yeah. Who's Naito fighting again? Uh, Naito is fighting Suzuki. So okay, so that's they who they're tag matches with. with yeah, they had tag matches for both nights with them both involved. Um, what do we got up here next? We got uh, Tanahashi, uh, Makabe, and Hanma versus, or Honma, however it said, Okada, Yoshihashi, and Yano. I didn't realize they did the actual briefcase thing in New Japan. Yeah. Kind of yeah. seems like they might have ripped off WWE with that. Uh, yeah, I saw pictures of it before and I'm like, huh. That's, uh, that looks familiar. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I kind of wish they wouldn't. They could have just done their own thing. Maybe yeah. carry around an envelope <laughs> as a contract in it and wear like a necklace or something. <laughs> That'd be fine. Instead of a contract, why not have it like, like you know how they're, like, they're, like there's the... Uh, the G1 talk. boot or Wrestle Kingdom boots. They can all wear special boots. Yeah, or... That's dumb. You know, mine's way better. Ready? Yeah, we'll see. So you know how like they have... There's like like a, a canoe? No. You know how there's... <laughs> you mean Kanamaru? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know how there's he like drinks a, a special Wrestle Kingdom whiskey? Out of a boot. <laughs> <laughs> out of a boot. Why a boot? I it ages know. well in a boot. <laughs> you know how there's like a talking stick? Well, there's... there's, what? there's like in Like in... Like... There's scenarios where like someone sets up a talking stick. It's like, oh, you get to hold this t- stick to talk. You ever heard of this? What the fuck Ever? are you talking about? No. You've, the, 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 Is this like in Magic the Gathering or no, something? No, people, people have heard of this. It's just like a, a it's a thing. It's like uh, no one's heard it's of a this. Thing. It's a thing. People have heard of it. Everyone's on my side right Whatever. now. They're like, this guy is he's he's hopped up on fucking ibuprofen <laughs> and cough syrup. <laughs> Isn't the fuck he's talking about? Anyway. Instead of having it like be like they pull out their talkings, their magic talking, no, no stick. talking stick. In- oh. Instead of like a, a a contract, it's just a pair of Peter's panties. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> there you what go. Is and whoever, the talking whoever, stick? Whoever, whoever's holding the panties has a title shot, dude. But nobody ever takes it because they don't want to give up the panties. Well, they, they, well, everyone would constantly lose because they would just have them on their face and they couldn't see when they're wrestling. <laughs> they just kind of wear them. You know, they would wear them. I want I want to wear her panties on my face. What is wrong with you, you sick fuck? I hate you. Um, I think this is the first actual match I've seen with Homna in it. Homna? Homna. Homna. He's the one that was fucked up real bad, right, and came back from some sort of neck injury or something? Yeah, I think it was, he had like a drug problem. I don't know that that's what it was. <laughs> Maybe he had no, some spinal not fluid issues. I don't know a drug. <laughs> He was on morphine for yeah. for the temporary paralysis, possibly. Yes. He, what a dick! <laughs> he couldn't put it. He couldn't put down the needle, man. <laughs> it reminds me of Rick and Morty. Whenever he's like, "Your leader is a heroin addict." <laughs> whenever Jerry's on the uh, trying to get out of giving away his testicles. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. He looks at me like I'm fucking crazy. Yeah, Fuck yeah. you, bitch. Yeah, I didn't deserve that. 
Um, I don't know, dude. I don't know how I feel about watching him wrestle. He seems weird. Like, the way he walks and moves, it's like Hulk it's Hogan. like he's a skinny version of that fat fuck that always walked like this in fucking the heavy machinery in NXT. <laughs> he always walks like this, but he's not fat. There, there was a funny fucking gimmick with him last week. Oh, God, what was You know it? how Regal's been questioning people about who's oh, the pack yeah, Alistair? Yeah, yeah. Um... They had him in there, and he's sweating, he's getting all nervous. He's like, all right, I'll admit it, I clogged the bathroom toilet. And that's what we thought the whole thing was about. That's fucking, it was funny. That's fucking dumb. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It's so fuck. dumb. It, 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 maybe it was funny if you watched it. Yeah. Well, you watched it, right? Yeah. You thought it was funny. Yeah. Okay, mission mission accomplished. Here. We I figured can, out I the I can mystery. testify. <laughs> Brother Devon. Okay. Oh, this match, yeah. Uh, there was a spot where... Um, I thought this was kind of funny. There's a spot where Hamna missed the falling headbutt, and then Okada immediately went for it, and he missed it too. That falling headbutt is really awkward to look at. Yeah. But it was funny when Okada did it and missed. Like yeah. His, Okada's stupid facial was kind of funny. <clears throat> uh, Yano gave uh, Han- Hanma a low blow and rolled him up, and Chaos got the win by pinfall. By the pa- fall of the pins. By the fall of it's the like pins. Yeah. It's like a strike. It's like a strike. 12 pins fall over for a strike. I'm really good at Is getting strikes in video games. Is it 12? What yeah, it's 12. What does that fucking mean? I'm trying to remember how many pins there were. There's 10. No, there's... T- yeah, <laughs> you're probably right. 10. One, three, <laughs> six. Yep, you're 10. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to shut the fuck up now. You, you, you must play that 10, that 10, that 12 <laughs> pin one. Well, it makes it more challenging, you know? Yeah, yeah there's more pens to knock down. Well, yeah. Where are they know, at, though? An issue. Where are they at, though? Are they, like, kind of just know. in the corners on the side? Why can I... See people in me. I can't pause it's it. It's so funny. It's too far behind on the DVR to pause. But it's so funny. There we go. This is They put semen, they put semen from his <laughs> chokes on Dick's stomach in there. <laughs> because remember what happens is that... The, the, she she they, they she drank the sea people and they thought it killed her, <laughs> so they went to open up her stomach and dig it out and they had all this goo and they put it in there and it was turned out it was semen. <laughs> oh shit! This is disturbing. <laughs> okay, look at all these notes for this match. Man, that's more Aww. than my notes for Beth Nights combined. Next we have Golden Lovers versus Ishii and Will Osprey. Dude, five minutes into this match. I am just like, this match is great. I love this match. It's going to be so great. Mm-hmm. I can just tell, you know, just watch this it. This is a cool fucking match. Oh, dude, and these guys are so great. Ibushi, too, I guess. He's great as well, I suppose. Um, but these guys all have great chemistry, and I really enjoyed Ishii in this match like, yeah. a lot. Um, there was, there's a spot. There's some spots in here I loved. Uh, there was a cool spot where Ishii gets on his hands and knees, and Osprey stands on his back and does like a fucking like twisting moonsault senton thing. Like, stay off, standing off of Ishii's back that was really cool. Uh-huh. Um, lots of cool shit by Osprey and just a bunch of great double team moves by both of them. Like, I could sit here and just name moves and name them, but it would yeah, just, yeah. there's so much cool shit. Yeah, dude, it's, um, like, with, with Osprey, dude, it, he, he can hang with the fucking heavyweights. Yeah. He, he's the only super junior in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's a super junior. He's uh- super. It's the the best of the super juniors. He's a super. He's junior a, junior heavyweights. He's That's the, the full title, them. right? Yeah, they're not super. They're just junior heavyweights. He's junior heavyweights. Yeah, um, it's that fucking tournament I'm talking about. That's I guess exactly what it is. <laughs> um, but do you think we're gonna get a potential? There was a lot of talk about Tai Chi being the uh, bringing the open weight back to like actually being open weight, and Tai Chi's the right uh. size to take that challenge. So. If Tai Chi gets it, you think they're setting up a feud with uh, Osprey? Wait, why did I say Tai Chi here? Yeah, I'm confused. Oh, I, I already talked about that. But do you think do you think we potentially could be seeing Osprey uh, going against Tai Chi since he are, he's he seems to be displaying his ability to hang out with those heavyweights? Um, you could. I mean, it would also be a good like if he won the open the open weight title. And, like, after holding that for a while, I mean, no one can throw a flag if he goes for the heavyweight title, right? It's not, like, illegal right. or anything, right? No. Do you have to hit a... I don't know how New Japan works. you have to hit a certain weight to go for the world title? No. Dude, I mean, the Bucks just declared themselves heavyweights Yeah, but they put, they put on weight, though. Oh, they said sure, they put yeah. On yeah. Uh-huh. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, you fucking prick? I mean, I'm sure they put on weight, but I don't know. But, I mean, if, if you don't have to, then it would be a good transition to get him in with the heavyweights. They probably did put on weight, actually. They cut off his statue like they did in The Simpsons. 
Simpsons did it. You got re- Simpsons did it. Simpsons did it. Um, so what else we have here? There was an amazing fucking sequence of moves in here with Osprey and Ibushi, with just a bunch of moves and reversals. Oh and, yeah, uh, yeah, and it ended with Osprey reversing a clothesline by grabbing Ibushi's arm and doing like a full fucking flip and just landing and hitting a sit down power bomb. It was so fucking cool. Yeah, some awesome shit. Oh, in this it match. was great. Um, Osprey hit this high back kick right to Ibushi's head. Dude, I normally... Ibushi's just... Ibushi sold this so fucking well when he got hit in the face with it. It was amazing. I did not want this match to end. I was like, I want this to go forever. Yeah. I started changing Fight Forever to my wiener. (laughs) Those were the only ones there, you know? Dude, I really like seeing, uh... Kenny and Coda doing like some team stuff together as yeah. well. Um, I'd, I'd like to, after Kenny's done with his, his big heavyweight championship run, uh, see them going for like some some tag team stuff. Have a big tag run? Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. I'd be down with that. Well, I, I don't think we'd see them feuding with the Bucks. I'm sure the Bucks will lose it by then. Yeah. Uh, Abushi grabbed Osprey for that second rope German from the apron, and I was just out loud. I was like, no, 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 don't do this. <laughs> After Naito, dude, he, uh, Osprey didn't land on his head, which was good, but he fucking hit hard when yeah. he hit. Um, Omega and Ibushi hit their V trigger, Ibushi, whatever, knee combo on Osprey, and the Golden Lovers won by pinfall. The Amazing elite. match. The, the elite. Amazing match. Great match. Loved it. Yeah. Some fun L- shit. Loved it. You want to do this pause break or? Yeah, we'll save it. All right. Oh. All right. There was no break. Nothing happened. We're here still. Yeah. Cool. I'm still here too. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Physically. Mentally, I'm I'm fucking gone. I checked out. You're like, I checked out hours ago. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at Deadpool. He has such a nice crotch. Deadpool's a freak, dude. He's a genetic freak. Let's get into night two. Are you in night two? I mean, I guess. Let's do it. Road to Destruction, night, the September 8th show, also in Corrigan Hall. First Young Li- two shows in Corrigan Hall. Yeah, the first match is the Young Lions versus the Young Lions, right? If my memory serves me It was right. the Young Lions versus the Young Lions. Young Lion gets a Young Lion and a Boston Crab, and the Young Lions won by submission. Young Lions, yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was an the interesting match. fucking going. Can you hear that shit? Oh, you're a pussy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm doing it for this business we love. You ruined my joke for this business that we love. I was like, this is going to be so funny. And you just fucking, it was Young Lions versus Young Lions. They don't like you fucking jerk off. I came in good. like a fucking Like retard. a fucking swig. What? Like a... This is where this is where this is where they tell uh, Chef that uh, Miss Chokes on Dick is dead because they killed her and they found their semen in her stomach, and then he goes and he goes and gets some like money and some bags and he's gonna let him get out of Dude, town. Look at the pot plant in the back. <laughs> look at that detail. Oh, that is a pot plant, isn't it? I mean, it's a cartoon version of one. You sure, that's a pot plant, not just a plant. Yes. I thought pot plants had four leaves or something. Oh, uh, at first he pushes him out on the couch because he doesn't want to. It's like the it. it's like the generic version of a uh, of a pot plant, like the Walmart store br- store brand. Oh, you're Shit. really getting low, bro. Yeah, good thing we're only talking about South Park. Hey, South Park is gr- oh yeah. Um, so the next <laughs> night, the next match we have a Yoto Yoshida versus Chase Owens. Uh, nothing on this one really. Chase Owens hits the package pile driver and wins by pin. Fall. That's my boy Chase. My boy Chase, he's the man. Chase is on the case. He, what the fuck is wrong with Something you? Something Rick and Benny would say. Dude, you should. He has said actually. Chase is on the case. He's some sort of rap. Um, it's a. It's a Paw Patrol reference. Is that a, is that like a band? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. So why would he say it unless <laughs> it's a band? That's all he says is bands. Uh, he says music stuff. Who's Connored? What? It's corner, you stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> uh, next, we have uh, Toa Hanare, David Finley, Mike Elgin, and Makabe versus Bad Luck Fale, Tamatanga, Tongalo, and Ishimori. Uh, this one had a great couple of false finishes right at the end, which I was kind of getting into. And then Tamatanga hit the stun gun, and the Bullet Club OGs won by pinfall. Do you have any notes for anything? Uh, not until like the late matches. Jesus. Yeah, I do. I just like as I'm watching, I'm like, I have nothing to say. All right. Oh, 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 shit. I have oh, nothing oh, good oh, to oh, say. Oh, that I just did something bad. Like, it's literally just going to be a repeat of what you're, you've been saying. How dare you? Okay. 
Next we have... Okay. Okay. Next we have Yoshihashi and uh, uh, Goto versus Taichi and Kanemaru. 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 Well, wait, I, I, I did have stuff to say about that. I just, I mean, match. I just, well, then why didn't you? Because you started questioning me about my fucking notes that What'd I forgot. What'd you have to say, you fucking jerk Well, off. do you think they're going to have, like, any, like, like, the name of this shit's Destruction. Like, I feel like if there's any, going to be anything that, like, sums up the destruction, it's going to be the fucking uh, BCOGs doing some crazy shit to get themselves expelled. So what do you think they're going to do? Some crazy shit, man. Oh, that's crazy, dude. Dude, oh, He's, dude, dude. Every time Tom and Tom comes out now, he tra- he makes me like fuck his dick with the camera. It's great. They can protect the Ishi, uh, the Ishi match, and okay. interrupt it. I was wondering if they're. I was thinking about that. I don't know. I don't want that to happen though. I want that to be like a clean match. Yeah, but they they, they could still do it again in the future. Is what I'm saying. Like they can have this one like built up to be the good one, and then they fucking interrupt it, which will get them fucking heat. Dude, it's on night one. Yeah. It's on night one. Yeah. You know what I guess great? they won't get expelled on night one. You know if they did a full-on thing? Well, I don't know. The, the problem with that is, like, with the G1, they were doing shit, like, every night. Since then, they don't really do it as much. No. They didn't do anything on the first two nights of this. Yeah, but and it's, like, no different than, like, how it was before the G1, That's though. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, if they were going to do something, they should have had them keep fucking around here. Have them disrupt the fucking Omega Ishii match and then tell them they're basically suspended and have them just run through the crowd on the fucking Okada Tonohashi match just to fuck it up for no reason other than to fuck it up. Fuck up that match and then kick them out. I mean, because it would get to the point where they're not even just like fucking with the elite in New Japan. They're just pissed at New Japan because they keep doing this shit. So they fuck up their main event on night three and it gets them kicked out. But, I mean, they have to have a build to. They can't just start fucking shit up again out of nowhere, you know? Like, yeah. But. Like, like they're, like they're going to get screwed on something and they're going to yeah. get mad. Yeah. I mean, they're also the champs. They're not going anywhere as the champs. Dude, I forgot about yeah. that shit. Yeah, they're not going anywhere as the champs. I mean, they could though. I mean, it, all they I, they could get yeah, a Ring of think, Honor. Yeah, but and Ring of Honor's not going to kick them out while they're the champs. I mean, they, I guess they could strip them. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they could do that. And they don't even have the belts technically. I mean, they, they brought them with them. Did they? Yeah. I don't remember. Because I, I remember, remember seeing Ishimori having one, and I was like, "What is that?" And I was like, "Oh yeah," and I noticed the other two had them too. Ishimori. So they uh, what's what uh, what are, what's the rule for that? The uh, Jaybird rule or something weird like that. Freebird? Freebird. I don't think that. Freebird. Well, Ishimori's the one that won him with him. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they. I don't think they've been doing that. I don't. Re- I don't recall very well. Yeah. No. Really? Yeah. I normally remember things. You well, really? it's weird. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised. Um. So in the next match we have Yoshihashi and Goto versus Taichi and Kanemaru. Dude, this match. I'm not even joking here. Almost legitimately made me stop watching New Japan. Really? Yeah, because Miho didn't come out with Tai Chi. <laughs> I was like, there's no excuse for this. Oh, my God. I was like, unless she's in my bed instead or something, she wasn't there, and that's bullshit. Yeah, no, I do I do recall her not coming yeah, out. I was mad. But we got a nice treat later instead, so. It's Peter. Um, shut up. You're ruining everything. You're ruining, you're ruining the surprise. They haven't seen the show. They don't know what we're talking about. Dude, there's you no. Met Peter Griffin, everyone. There's you no. Met Peter way, Griffin. There's no way there are people who listen to our show no. and not watch New Japan. No. Oh, I just was following the first part. <laughs> there's no way anyone listens to this bullshit. Um, so Tai Chi brought in his mic stand and hit Goto in the face, and Chaos won by DQ. Yeah. Clearly fur- furthering the uh, the, the uh, match. Yeah, and it, it, it it's a, a way for the for them to protect the finish so they can yeah. set that up later. Um, next we have Evil, Naito, Sonata, and Bushi versus Suzuki, Takamichinoku, Ichika, and El Desperado. Dude, I always find it so funny. I get so much joy when young lions just get randomly beat up in the middle of matches. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you hate your Dude, young lions. Suzuki, I, I don't hate them at all. It's just funny. They're just like, they use them like they're just fucking props. Yeah. Like they're fucking people. <laughs> it's so funny. Suzuki pulverized one with a chair. This was a pretty crazy match. Like people were fighting everywhere for most of it, all over the place. Shit happening everywhere. Uh, Bushi hit a top rope code breaker, and the Los Engabarales won by pinfall. Dude, just imagine if the Young Lions existed, like in like old WWE, like 
They, they'd be doing like lines of cocaine and off the fucking lines back. Yeah. It's like, I need something to do cocaine off of. Why are them doing off each other's backs? That's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know if a girl's tits or it's something. the 80s, man. The 80s are wacky, man. <laughs> they were wacky as fuck. Young Asian boy, come over here. <laughs> that was silly. Um, after the, uh, this, I thought this was pretty funny. Naito is, is quite funny. Do you remember after the match? <laughs> the sea Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the best part is he goes, uh, where'd you get all this semen from, Carbon? He goes, well, I got a lot of it from the clinic down there, but the rest of it I got from some old bum in the alley. They're like, what'd you, really? He's like, yeah, all I had to do is just close my eyes and suck it out of a hose. <laughs> they're like, in, suck dick. They're like, suck it out of a hose. And he's like, yep, suck it out of a hose. That's so, so funny. fucking funny. Um, so after the match, yes. Uh, after beating up Suzuki, after the match, Naito's beating up Suzuki. He, you remember he lay in the ring and started like kicking his feet and arms and was doing weird shit laying in the ring. Do you remember this? Who? Uh, Naito. After he beat up Suzuki, Suzuki no. was trying to get in the ring to beat him up, and Naito's just like making his arms float and kicking his feet. Like it was really. I don't, funny. but I can imagine it. It was really funny. Um, and then and then he went fishing for Suzuki with the mic. He kept throwing it and pulling it back. That I remember. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> I like Naito. He's a, he's a funny cat. He's a funny cat. Taz he's a over funny here. Kitty cat. Taz uh, who copies Kevin Smith over Kevin here. Kevin Smith. I'm a Kevin. I'm a regular Kevin Smith. And then we had the semi main. Here is the is the pros because we're pros. We call it the semi main. The Simpsons. Simpsons did it. Oh, he's gonna start seeing Simpsons people soon. I think. Real ones or like South Park ones. South Park. <laughs> See, General Desiree turned into Bart. That's funny. Everyone you see a sperm bank of South Park. That's fucking funny. This shit is great. It is really funny. You should, you should, you should pay attention to our podcast. Sorry, table. sorry, sorry. Our podcast. Did you get to your notes yet? Me? Yeah. No. Do you have any written down? I have very few. Hold I want to see them. Well, there's the first see- nights. Oh wow, that's impressive, dude. Second night. These are all my passwords here. <laughs> cool, you have more passwords than notes. <laughs> uh, this you one have four good. lines. Wow, dude. <laughs> dude, I didn't have oh, much. Boy. Okay, so next up we have Osprey. Uh, in my defense, on the second night, I felt like shit this morning. Uh, I was watching it feeling like shit. Uh, so Will Osprey, Ishii, and Yano versus the Golden Lovers in Yujiro. And we have the legendary muffin ass. Muffin ass. The legend, That's what it was. The legendary muffin ass. Fuck yeah. I was trying dude. to remember what you called her. She was so fucking hot. And the, oh my god. Oh my god. She's so hot. Hey, that's Bad Luck's dude, wife or daughter or something. It took an hour and a half to watch this. I had to stop and masturbate six times. <laughs> six times! <laughs> that's before they even got to the ring. Yeah, dude. That was just during fucking Osprey's entrance. <laughs> that was just during Osprey's entrance. Wait, you masturbated to Osprey? He has a supple face. So like it's, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. He just said supple... <laughs> It's a funny word. I don't know that it works with face, but that's fine. <laughs> um, let's see. Supple here. face. I actually don't have much for this match, but Osprey and Ibushi are amazing when they're just going like 100 miles an hour. Just no, fuck. Dude, fuck. dude, they're real good. Um, but Yano hit the low blow, got a roll up, and Chaos won by pinfall. It's a good match. Um, their one the night before was definitely better, but it's still a really good match. Yeah. And then we have the main event. Do you, wait, Make sure you noticed. had something about Ishii. Uh, Ishii versus Omega Two is going to be amazing. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, <clears throat> I think I, I was talking to you earlier off air about how uh, this because the the night one, well, it was during this match that it kind of happened for me. Like after the match, Ishii's outside and Omega's outside, and they're kind of jaw jacking and. Uh, Ishii like pats Omega's title and Omega like pats yeah. his head and I'm sitting there and I'm like, dude, I haven't been this excited for like a main event for a show for like years. Like I'm so fucking excited just to see this match. Yeah. Like I can't fucking wait. I don't know if it's gonna live up to my expectations. Probably but, not. Yeah. And for the main event we have Juice Robinson and Tanahashi. Versus Okada and Beretta. Yeah, I forgot Beretta was even part of Chaos until this came on. Yeah, Beretta and Chucky e. T is as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're best friends. They are. Uh, they once again stole Juice's hat back from this disappointed child, that cheap fucking bitch. Dude, fuck him. Dude, he put him right on this kid, and I see later, I'm like, how come this guy has the hat now? Dude, and, then, I- and then Okada took it, because he put it on the kid's head, 
And then, like, two minutes later, you see a young lion walking up, holding it, and Okada takes it and put it on. I'm like, well, clearly that kid don't have it no more. Yeah, I can't believe they're still do- he's still wearing this fucking Yankee Doodle bullshit. Dude, his entrance attire is terrible. It's so annoying. Yeah, isn't like, he, I, doesn't like, he suck? I, I got he's the, the worst wrestler ever. I got Everything the, about him, even his promo, right? It all sucks. I got the You're gimmick. Dead, Gabe. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? I got the gimmick that, like, he did that for, like, the G1 special and shit. And then he just kind of rode it off into the the G one climax and shit. But then, like I, I'm I'm done with it now. I just assumed it was his new entrance attire. No, I don't know. I think it is. I just felt like he like spent like he's spent like a shit ton of money on it. He's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear this shit in. We clearly only bought one because he can't get rid of any of it. Um, there's a couple great false finishes towards the end. Um, Beretta has a devastating looking pile driver that he did the n- first night and this night. Like, it looks so, like, devastating when he does it. Um, there's a great sequence of moves and reversals by Juice and Beretta leading to the finish. Juice hits the pulp friction, and Taguchi Japan wins by pinfall. Yes. 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 I had something. Oh, I, I, I definitely at the beginning of this match had, had the, uh, the, the finish predicted. Who was, who was taking it? Beretta, I don't think they're gonna let Juice take a pin. Oh, I don't no. like. I don't think they're letting either of those two guys take a pin. They yeah. want to protect that match to yeah. have it. Yeah, you can you I'm can like, kind of tell based on what's coming up. Like sometimes, like what's gonna happen, dude. But then I was finish. like, I was like, there's already like a handful of people who have like a title shot lined up against Juice, huh? Cody, um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's it's a lot. Well, he took a he. A lot. He obviously took a few pins in the fucking. Oh G1, yeah, everyone so. in the G one, <laughs> and then Cody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm excited for the Cody one. I really hope Cody wins it. Yeah, I want. I don't want. I just want. Don't want Juice to have it. I also love Cody, so that would work out. Yeah. Um. After the match, um, I turned it off because I didn't want to listen to Juice being annoying as fuck because he's really fucking annoying. Okay. So I was like, no thanks for this promo, and I just got rid of it. Yeah, I I can't even remember what he said. What did he do? He like challenged someone challenged him, or he challenged someone. I don't know. I think he challenged like some fucking like f- I don't know. He was gonna like punch himself in the dick or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's retarded. At least, at least he, when you said you didn't like what, listen to it, like you actually didn't. Whereas uh, if someone someone listened to our uh, said they didn't listen to our podcast in the comments, they listen, they have critiques on the entire show. I stopped after about two minutes. I don't understand why you were talking about that one part an hour in. That guy's a douche. That guy can go fuck himself and die. You clearly listen to all of it. Clearly. Sir. So we're going to pa- oh, we're gonna pause and we'll do night three. All right. Night three. It's going to happen right now. Right now, this moment. Is it working? Oh, uh, poopy trim. Yeah, I think it's working. I think it's good enough. Do you think it's good enough? Nope. Oh, man. Uh, dude, we're going to have to do a warm-up. No. We're, we, should, we're, we, should, we should do a warm-up we're, anyway. We're already here. We're just bad. We, we just finished uh, the second show. Now we're doing the third one. We just took a, a second break to, to save it. Well, I thought we were, we're testing the mic. No, it's, no, why would we test it? We've been recording this whole time. We don't test in the middle. I hate you. What? This isn't the middle. It is the middle. We just finished night we, two. We just started. Night Yeah, night three. There. Oh. Okay, very, all right, let's see here. Uh, so night oh, three. Jesus. Night three. I should already have my notes out because we just got done with night two. There's night three because we just finished night two. Okay, night three right after night two has just been done. We're on night three. You have your notes out? You have all your notes ready? Mm, you don't want to look. <laughs> I have them up here. They're good. Dude, that smells real yeah, bad. Yeah, that's why I turned the fan on. That smells real bad. Okay. Um, so this was uh, from the Togain Arena. This is night three. Um, the first match we have is Young Lion versus Young Lion. Yeah, I like this match. Yeah. It was a good match. Yeah, the time limit expired and it was a Young Lion draw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was good. Do you know either of their names? No. Me neither. I, I just purpose, <laughs> I purposely just put Young Lion up yeah, for Yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah. Because they're not, they're not people. They'll, you know? they'll <laughs> so. They're uh, they're objects. Like, uh, who the fuck is that? Uh, 
we just talked about it like a few minutes ago. Suzuki. Who yeah, uses Suzuki, them as objects. Suzuki just uses them as objects. Yeah, Jay White was doing that too a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay, so next match we have Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa, Bad Luck Fale, and Ishimori versus Young Lion, uh, Ayota Yoshida, Mike Elgin, and Young Lion again. Um, there was a sweet spot in this one where Ishimori was going for his handspring in Siguri, and he like did the hand. He got in his hands and flipped and jumped back. And when he was in the air, Elgin just grabbed him and German suplexed him, which was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That was a sweet move. Uh, then Ishimori got a cross face on a young lion, and the Bullet Club OGs won by submission. Submission. Did you submission. Hear? Did you hear? I just saw in the last forty-five seconds during our break that Mick Foley is the uh, special referee for the Hell in the Cell match. Really? Yeah, I, th- I want to say it. I gotta, it must be the Strowman Reigns one. How's that work? Is there just like one Hell in a Cell match, or it's a series of them? No, normally during the pay per view they just have <laughs> a few matches that are Hell in a Cell matches. So like, that's a Hell in a Cell match. The, they're probably gonna have a women's one in there. I'm willing to bet. I don't know if they're going to now. They Why did last they? year. They did last year. I don't know, but they, they have to with the women's revolution the, or whatever the fuck it's called. The Jeff Hardy Orton is one, but like you were talking about earlier, Joe and AJ isn't one, which makes no sense. Yeah, that's dumb. Especially after how they finished their last match with them brawling everywhere. It's a perfect setup for Hell in the Cell, but whatever. <laughs> Someone made a comment online. They're they're like, I'm gonna kill you, whatever it takes, as long as it's within the confined rules of this match. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> the confined rules. All right, next we got Tai Chi minus Mio, so whatever. And El Desperado versus uh, Goto and Gato. Goto Gato. The Goto Gato combo. Goto and Gato. Yeah. Gato is the one who books all this shit, right? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I watch him like that guy's booking everything. What a modest guy not to book himself to win all the time. All right, uh, and it looks like this- we, uh, he, they lost this one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, El Desperado hit a, a double underhook face buster. And Suzuki Goon won by pinfall. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of jaw jacking after this one and post match stuff between Tai Chi and Goto. Obviously, yeah, setting up that that match. Their match. Yeah, setting up for it. I am so. excited for that one for some reason. <laughs> like I, I typically have no interest in Tai Chi, but I gotta say I'm excited for all four of the singles ones yeah. they've announced. Yeah, I like this open weight belt. I'm a fan of it. I gotta tell you though, this uh, the uh, when we get to the second to last match, I was like, man, what's the main event gonna be? I don't even know what it is. Who's left? This is going to be something cool. And I was like, oh, <laughs> sweet. It's the legends, I guess. Yeah. But we'll get to that later. Yeah. Um, and not to downplay because I'm sure it's cool to people that watch it. No, yeah, 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 We're new. Sure. We're new. Who, who am I to complain about that? Uh, next we have Suzuki, Takamichinoku, Kon- Konamaru, and Ichika versus Bushi, Evil, Sonata, and Naito. Did you notice that at one point Ta- Taka was like butt fucking the ref in the corner for a little while? Did you catch this? No. Yeah, he like fucking put in his butt. Like he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to keep the ref distracted, so he backs the ref into the corner. The ref's turned around, so he's facing the turnbuckles, and Taka's just pressed up against him, just holding him. I'm like, why is this okay? <laughs> like you're clearly you're all over him. You're trying Come to on, fuck ref, him. Get your head out of your you're ass. You're trying to fuck him. Um, Bushi hit a top rope code breaker. And uh, the Los and Gobbler, Los and Gobbleritos, won by pinfall. Gobbleritos. The Los and Gobbleritos won by pinfall. The, uh, Sponsored what, by Mad Max. That was one of uh, Jericho's big complaints, right? Is that about the refs? I thought. Yeah. Yeah. And he's right. We're probably gonna see him at Long Beach, huh? Dude, maybe, but I don't know. Maybe, but he said that. Uh, he said on I think his podcast there yesterday that he's open to working the MSG show next year. Really? Yeah. That's cool. So I bet he'll be there. Dude, Vince is going to fucking lose his shit. He must hate him so much. I feel like he wouldn't do it unless Vince was okay with it. That's not accurate. Really? There's no way Vince is okay with him being at All In. There's no way. Hmm. Well, because, I, dude, Jericho said initially that he wasn't going to work anything in the U.S. except for WWE. And then he talked about how he had an idea. I think I don't know if we talked about this, but... He had an idea where he was going to have him versus Seth Rollins for New Japan Intercontinental title versus WWE Intercontinental title on WWE's television. And he pitched the idea to Vince and everyone, and no one just ever got back to him. They just ignored him after that, basically, and never responded. 
And he was like, whatever. He's like, I thought it was a really good idea, and you know, I'd be the one that could do it, but they just never got back to me. So I was like, whatever. And he seemed annoyed by it. And then after that, he took back how he said that he'd never worked for anyone but WWE. And so he, he took that back, and since then he's appeared at All In. So I think at this point he just doesn't care about WWE. He sounds like he's annoyed with WWE. Yeah, it's exactly I like that. What it sounds like me too. So I, I don't think that uh, Vince approved or he even talked to Vince about All In or if he does the Garden. I really don't think he is. Do you think WWE does shit purposely to piss them off? I mean, they obviously piss people off. I mean, like uh, like this AJ Styles, some other Joe thing. No, I just think it's... I think it's like like the left hand not knowing what the right hand's doing because there's so many people involved in everything, and I just think it's also a lack of caring. I think they just don't care. Yeah, like I think half the time, like, well, that doesn't make sense. I'm like, whatever, no Dude, one's gonna they, notice. They it. probably have a uh, a DQ lined up for the finish, and that's why they're not doing it. So stupid. They're probably gonna do two or three more pay per views after this, where there's a DQ finish to the Samoa Joe AJ Styles match. Dude, this is a DQ finish. It's gonna be so stupid. Yeah, because the last one was right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And then all this, all this Shinsuke and AJ Styles DQ finishes. That seems to be their fucking gimmick is DQ finishes on on Styles. Maybe AJ Styles has in this contract he has to have like eighty six DQ finishes a year or something. Maybe I think it's thirty seven. It's probably thirty seven. Um, this is another one. There was more teasing with us, uh, uh, Suzuki and Naito to set up their match. Um, there was a, one part where. Um, the, the, all the young lions are pulling Suzuki back to the uh, to the backstage. They're just all holding him, pulling him back, while Naito's just sitting on his chair back to him. Just, <laughs> dude, Naito's like <laughs> such Naito's a dick. Great. It's so funny. Tranquilo. Oh, it's so funny. I love him. Um, next, we have Tanahashi and Tao Hanare versus Okada and Yoshihashi. Um, Yoshihashi got the butterfly lock on Hanare and Chaos won by submission. I don't really have anything for that one either. Chaos. Chaos. All right, next we got the semi main event. We have, we are flying through this one. Yeah. Yano, Will Ospreay, uh, Ishii, and Trent Beretta versus the Golden Lovers, Chase Owens, and uh, Yujiro Takahashi. No legendary muffin ass. Nope. Sad Dave. No Dave muff- was sad. No muffin ass for Dave. He was sad. Dude. I, what? I was going to say, I like this match a lot. Yeah, it was really good. Dude, the stuff with Owens and Omega running around and tagging each other was really yeah. fucking funny. They just, like, <laughs> they kept, like, didn't they keep doing, like, a, a wish uh, wishbone, like, with the legs? And then he would run over and, like, tag mm-hmm. Owens, and he would, like, do the run over. It was really funny. Yeah, and then they had the uh, the uh, the rowboat. The rowboat The spot. rowboat with... Uh, Osprey and Ibushi fighting in the middle. Yeah. Eh, I'm I was ex- like, eh. I'm excited for the Ibushi-Osprey match. That's yeah. going to be fucking nuts. <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah, I don't know how I felt about the robot spot. I, I was like, whatever. I, th- I think the hair spot was better. Yeah. Um, Yujiro nails Osprey in the balls and the taint area. Yeah, like I saw that. Cane. That was rude. <coughs> I just fucking nailed him. There was a sweet double team move with Owens doing a flatliner. Uh, at the same time, Omega did the Kataro Crusher to Ishii, which was really cool. The Kataro, That's whenever he jumps over and does a bulldog. He oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, he did that at the same time Owens did a flatliner, which is pretty sweet. I love cool double-team moves. They get me. They really get me going. Uh, the Golden Lovers um, did a sweet power bomb into a German suplex combo where uh, uh, Omega gets him up for a power bomb, throws an Ibushi, catches him in German suplexes mm-hmm. him, which is really cool. I like that a lot. I'm really missing Matt and Nick. Yeah, they're going to be at the Long Beach show. So they're pretty much like on vacation until then, huh? That's what it seemed like because they said a few weeks. And that's the yeah. end of the month. So. Yeah, it's about the timing matches yeah. up. Uh, Unless they were setting up to surprise us at some point at destruction or something. Maybe. Did you see they're fighting at Long Beach? Uh, no. They're defending the IWGP titles against the firing squad. Really? Yeah. Mm. They already took their one titles from them, the uh, six-man never open weight titles. That was the ones they got, right? It was the never open weight six man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Beretta reverses Owens Packle pa- Packle Owens Packle Pile Driver into the Dude Buster and Chaos One by Pinfall. Yeah, and then this next match, I was like, I mean, like like we said before, like I mean, I I wasn't super into it, but this is just because I didn't know who they were. Yeah. If it was something where I knew who they were, I'd probably be super into it. But I was just like, it, it was one of those things where the match itself like wasn't a bad match at all, but like. Yeah. I was slightly like taken back or taken uh, taken out of it because of how into it everyone else is. I keep thinking the whole time. I'm like, I feel like I should, I should care more. 
Uh-huh. I, I feel like I'm supposed to care more, and that kind of took me out of the match and you're, made it less sounds than... Sounds like you're a bad person. You just didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Still um, fighting this cold off. Come off. Cold, cold off. Come? come? What? Cold. I, I have a cold. Oh, weird. My come. throat's covered in cold. I hurt. Oh, that's strange. Uh, this, <laughs> this, this match was uh, this match was David Finley, Juice Robinson, uh, Hanma, and uh, Makabe versus Satoshi Kojima, Hiroshi Tenzan, Yuji Nagata, and Manabu Nakanishi. I'm pretty, I, dude, you hear, I pronounce all those great. Yeah, it's I the t- first time I ever read them. I texted you whenever I. Uh, that is impressive. I'm sorry, oh, I didn't sweet. mean to downplay yes, that. Yes, I'm great. I texted you during this match about how fucking annoying I, I got whenever uh, Finley came in. Dude, there's something like, he just seems like he's just copying Juice. Do, do, do you see I that? Didn't, I didn't, I gotta pay, I gotta look for it's it. It's just like his his his, his swagger. Weren't they, a, weren't they a tag team for Were a while? Was I that, don't know. I know Finley was with someone, I can't remember if it was him or someone else though. I think I heard mention of this, so this might be accurate. Maybe that's what it was. Um... Well, it started off when they had a bunch of little kids giving flowers to both teams for some reason. Like, when I was watching, I was like, the English commentary would probably be helping me with what's going on. But yeah. obviously it had to do with, like, it be, the Kojima's return and it being a special match and everything. But I was just like, why are they doing this? And some commentary would have initially just, you know, covered that. But that would have helped, yeah, sure. Yeah, you figured it out <laughs> by the end. <coughs> All right. Like, okay. Um... <clears throat> Hamna kind of reminds me of like a mentally challenged monkey whenever he's in the ring. <laughs> his headbutt looks so awkward. His falling headbutt or whatever, you, whatever it's Dude, called. Whenever he walks, he just walks like this. Like <laughs> You can't yeah. see me, but I'm a Ken doll that looks like that fat fuck from Heavy Machinery. Uh, uh, his name's like Jerry or something. Um, Jerry. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't just think gotta pick Jerry. the name. I think it's Otis Jerry Burger or some shit. <laughs> Otis Jerry Burger. <laughs> yeah, that might be what it is. Uh, All right, you talk while I send a text. Papa Say Georgia. Say stuff. Keep them entertained. Um, so uh, that Henry Caval guy leaving D.C. It's crazy. Yeah, I heard that it was a good reason. Why did he do that? Uh, because a cameo and Shazam cost not enough or too much. It wasn't. A co- it was just. The, the, I guess he wouldn't. He wouldn't drop out because it was too much. Well, that was yeah. dumb. <laughs> They were just talking about how the uh, there was basically a breakdown when they were trying to negotiate it, and he just like I quit, and they were probably like, "Okay, you can quit over a cameo because they're DC and they're retarded, but whatever." I don't understand. I don't understand why they feel like they need Superman in there anyway. I guess I guess it would be kind of a cool moment to see Billy. You know the general concept of the the character, right? It's a kid who just gets his power to turn into yeah, basically. Yeah, I saw Superman. another trailer for it, and I'm I don't I'm, I'm a little less excited than I was after the first. trailer. The first trailer was really good, in my opinion. I watched it again, and I'm just like, dude, I, this. I feel like this movie is going to be a whole lot of like, ooh, a grown up as a kid like experiencing things as a grown up for the first time, and it's going to get fucking old. It reminds me of like Big. I never saw Big, but I know you're talking oh, about. Oh, dude, Big was so good. I don't know. I feel like it's going to get fucking annoying. If you watch Big and just like, I feel like you can watch Big and just mentally turn that into like a superhero aspect and then you're basically watching Shazam. I don't want to watch Shazam or, anyway. or Big. Anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna say. I guess it would be kind of cool, like for him to like, like there's this superhero, like Superman character, and you get superpowers, and Superman's like, hey, here's here's some good good advice on how to use your yeah, powers. Yeah, they could have worked in a cool cameo. Yeah, yeah I, they could they could easily use someone else. Yeah, this is a good point. <laughs> they could have been like, all right, you don't want to do it, cool. We'll get someone else. Well, you can still be Superman. Ben Affleck, come back for a second. <laughs> yeah, everyone's leaving because it fucking sucks. The only thing they've done right, according to most people, and not me, is Wonder Woman. That is it. Dude, I don't think Wonder Woman was bad. I just don't think it was good. And then you have, like, fucking nuts out there saying that, like, Wonder Woman was way better than the Captain America First Avenger. I'm like, you're oh on crack. Oh, my God. You should go you're, to a different theater or something, you fucking idiots. <laughs> I don't understand. Dude, but Jackie didn't even like Captain America. I don't understand. Dude, I don't understand. It was such a good movie. Man, I can't believe she didn't like it. She liked Black Panther, and she's racist. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's she's not, kayfabe. That was a joke. Outside of kayfabe, she's that, not racist. That was an inside joke. She's not actually racist. She loves everyone except for Indians. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was a joke too, but not really. But it was. <laughs> but it was. 
Yeah, but Hamla kind of looks like a mentally challenged monkey. Like whenever, I, <laughs> like whenever I was watching, I was like, dude, he looks like he's more like a monkey, but he's kind of like dumb in the head. I don't know. Dumb in the head. No, and, I, and I, it's I, kind of a dick thing to say because I think it's because of his like injury he had. So I kind of. Oh, maybe I don't. Now. I've never saw him pre pre injury. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, Hamne. There was a good false finish. I thought after everyone jumped Kojima, like all four of them, and then Hamne hit his falling headbutt. I thought it was a pretty good one. And then Tenzan and Kojima hit a. Tengochi Cutter, which is a 3D, basically. Cozy. Cozy. I'm not there His yet. name's Cozy. No, it's not. Someone's name's Cozy. No, it's not. Okay. You're not even reading it right. All right. So, you remember the 3D, which was the, the Ken- Tengoji Cutter? It yeah. Th- the Dudley Boys 3D? That's what they say. They go, hey, sure. Hey, hey, hey. The one guy runs at him, he lifts him up and falls, and the other guy grabs him and does a diamond cutter, or a cutter. Okay. Yeah, it's a 3D, you know. Uh, Kojima nails the Cozy Lariat, which is the name of the move. Did you notice that his nose thing says Cozy on it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know interesting. It's a thing. I don't, I don't his know. Name, maybe his name needed to be known. Maybe his name's Kojima. Um, <laughs> Kojima. <laughs> I don't know what this means. <laughs> Kojima, Tenzon, Nagata, and Nakanishi won by pinfall. And that was, and then they celebrated, and they had all the little kids in swimsuits come up, and they fucking molested them or something. <laughs> Dude, that was so weird to me. I was like, why are they wearing swimsuits? <laughs> they're, they're singlets, they're, you they're, jackass. They were wrestling, yeah, they were wrestling yeah. singlets. I don't know. I was like, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Whatever. It's Japanese culture to touch kids. I don't know what that means. <laughs> It's not a thing. I was a kid. I was a kidding. I was a joke. <laughs> Have you offended all the Japanese people and the kids? No one. No, neither of them listen. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a fair point. Dude, I can't wait to go to fucking Japan and see a show. I wish I, I wish we could, I wish I could go to Wrestle Kingdom like this in January. You're, so you're bad. gonna see the 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 second greatest Royal Rumble in Japan, right? Is that what you're gonna yeah. see? <laughs> so I'm going to see. It's gonna be badass. It's gonna be so great. So I'm excited for this convention in October. I get to spend thousands of dollars to meet all these people. Captain America, Loki, Thanos, Scarlet Witch. Whenever you wrestle- I don't think I'm meeting Domino. No? I, I kind of want to, but I'm just spending too much money. That's fair. But I think I am going to meet Ronan, especially since he's in Captain Marvel. Yeah. So I think yeah. I'm going to meet him. Dude, this, this scroll don't look too good. Really? I saw the picture. Yeah. But is that it, bad? I, it might... When's that come out? I mean, we're we're a whiles away. There's probably some a still. Whiles away. We're a whiles away. There's probably still some uh, three. I think February, March. CG. It's February or March. Yeah, there's probably still some CG that they need to apply them. But it looks the makeup looks on par with maybe like the dark elves or something. Yeah, see, I don't know else. what the scrolls look like. Scrolls. Scrolls. The Marty scrolls. The Marty scrolls. I don't know what the scrolls look like, but are, are they the ones that are shapeshifters? Yeah, they're green. Okay. They're green. They look like elves. Yeah, they're yeah they're green. Well, that's uh, what they're, they're their main form is though. Yeah, they are shapeshifters uh, though. Huh. So I wonder how Ronan uh, figures into all this. Have we seen any? We haven't seen any scrolls at all in the Marvel yet, have we? No. I'm surprised they haven't showed up in Guardians somewhere. Not knowingly. Touche. Nah, nah, nah. What was that? Was it, what was that thing you just uh, did? What was that noise? Yeah, look at that. That doesn't look too good. Dude, that doesn't look like there's any CG whatsoever well, on. He that just got though. out of the water. That's true. He's just wet. He's swimming. He went for a scroll, scroll, scroll swim. You know. Oh yeah, and then they normally look like. I can get a good one because these are just. Scroll, uh, scroll, Marty scroll, scroll, Marty scroll. This, dude, as bad as we ever do with not saying anything while we're doing something, it'll never be as bad as Dave Meltzer. Really, dude? I'll listen to his and he'll be like, "Oh wait, what match was that? Hold on, let me uh, let me look at this. Let me." They don't normally have wings. I don't know why they have wings in this photo. Here, no, it's not. There. That's what I always imagine them is. looking I found like. It. That was Dave Meltzer. That's what they look like. Yeah. I mean, it's not terribly off, but... Yeah. And, and every time I listen to it, I'm like, Brian Alvarez must be getting so annoyed because Meltzer isn't saying anything. He's just I, looking. They probably had to make their chins less ballsacky looking. People are like, these are two great different conversations they're having at the same time right now. <laughs> Ball they're sack. not green enough. Be more green. Yeah, they're, they're 
They're no, yeah, they look they're yellow. Still pretty ball. It could also be the lighting though too. Yeah, it needs, maybe there's like gonna be like a CG like type glow to it. They were related to Thanos because they both have ball sex, like ball. Talos, so you sure. Oh, that I don't is know what the that same means. thing. We're done, man. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We're gonna go screen the Predator. That's right, bitches. We're gonna screen the Predator. Hey, Chris Hansen's gonna be there waiting for us. Wait, why? What did we do? Oh wait. Let's... Oh, like a child predator. We like should get a, out of here. Oh. Dude, why'd you do that? Um, yeah, make sure you guys follow us on the Twitter at BreakroomBS1 and then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Listen to all of our shit everywhere on Spotify and everything. And make sure you send us messages and comments on Twitter or you can comment on YouTube so we can uh, tell you that we're right and you're wrong. Because we're pretty much right about everything we say. Okay, the fan is not going to spread the fart around all around me like a whirlwind. It's like going to be in the eye of the tornado of a fucking fart tornado. Dude, there's a, there's a hurricane coming through. Da, 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 <laughs> but there actually da, da, da. is that. Uh, nah. Yeah, we're just, we're we're just supposed even, to get dude, the outs- like the see, edge of it, the we're skirts. We're not getting a hurricane. We're getting the skirts. We're gonna it's get, not going to be that bad, but it's going to be annoying. We're not getting any of the hurricane. We're going we're gonna to get a lot of rain. We're, we're getting we're getting the weather system left over from the hurricane. We're not getting no hurricane. No, we, we actually are part of the hurricane no, this time. No, we're not. All right. We're, how could it possibly stretch that fucking far? Thousands of miles. It's a hurricane, bro. It doesn't matter. There's no way we're getting a hurricane. Chris Hunter Helmsley. believe it. So you're telling me everywhere from where at over is just going to be destroyed by this hurricane what's because the, we're just the edge what, of it. What's the name of this one? Stand back. It's Helms, I think. I think it's Hurricane Helms. Hurricane. Helms. Tracker. No, I think it's Hurricane Shane. Here. Here's the, here's the path. Fox News. They're a legitimate source. Oh, yeah. They know what they're talking <laughs> about, right? If you watch that Paradise PD show, they, they know what they're talking about on Fox. Uh, That's their joke. That is. You, is that a real show? Remember the cartoon cop show that they were That's talking about on that podcast of yours? <gasps> The new one that I oh, said yeah, yeah. I finished the whole se- the whole season. Why would you do that? <laughs> because I like watching crappy shows. It was not good and it didn't get any better. It was very not funny. Right, here's what we're looking at here. All yeah, right, we're, not, we're good. I guess. Okay, right. that's not even. Is that a dick going to fuck the country? What is that? Oh, here, look, look, yeah. <laughs> here's a big. So the hurricane's big... there. <laughs> the hurricane's basically gonna go there. <laughs> So it's not getting us at all. What does that mean? This is a giant um, eggplant dildo. <laughs> it's going to fuck the United States. The pussy is right in the North Carolina area. <laughs> Look at this. This is very dick looking. That, I, that's what I was looking at when I asked if the country was getting fucked by a giant dick. That's what it fucking looks like. I mean, uh, based off our last election, yeah. Oh, boy. That was a good zinger. Well, I, I, I don't I, even care. I wanted to say zing because it was very clever. I mean, I set you up there. Um, so you know what I don't understand? No. Dude, why is flipping the bat, like, against baseball etiquette? It's like a sin. You can't flip the bat? Yeah. It's like really? a thing. Yeah. Like, dude, I was reading that whenever people flip the bat, the pitcher will, like, just bean the next person on purpose because the person before him did that. Why the next person? I don't know, because it's, they're, they're on the same team and he's getting punished for what his teammate did. Oh, 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 like, if you, like, flip it, like... After you hit a home run. After you hit it. Okay, that makes sense. I thought you meant, like, if you're just, like, walking up and, like, flipping the bat in your hand. If you're walking to Dick's to return it and you flip it on the way, you get punched in the face or something? <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, no, it's like, after you hit a home run, if you do it to celebrate, it's, like, cocky and arrogant and you're not supposed to do it. And it's like, I was like, why? Where do you put it? What? Where do you put it? You just drop it. You just don't flip it. Yeah. Maybe you can hit someone. <laughs> what in you return, you get hit. Swing and hit the umpire right in the fucking head as hard as you can. All right, we're out here. See you guys later. Bye.